finally, 14 months, uh, the kid is finally here. Got dropped off at uh, 8.30 this morning by a, a nice young guy. He tried to use the pallet jack over the gravel to get it in. Well, that didn't work, so we just dropped it in the driveway. Then I got the tractor and brought it in. Anyway, what I want to do now is I want to open it up and just familiarize myself with what all the parts are. Once I get it open, once I go through the bill of materials, I only have uh, 48 hours to report any shortages back to uh, the company I purchased the kit from. So that's, that's the top priority. Let me get that done first. I'll bring you back and then we'll go over each each piece and what each piece does. Um, rails, I'm not gonna go over the rails uh, because they're, you know what a rail is. Then at the end of that, what I wanna do is I want to um, let you know what doesn't come in the kit because there are some pretty big ticket items that don't come in this kit, but stay to the end and we'll go over those, okay? Let me get to work. Okay, well we got it all uh, opened up except for the the panels. I'm kind of nervous about opening them up. I don't know if they'll just like fall or or what. I'll do those. I'll do those at a later time. Um, anyway, I've gone through all the stuff. All the parts are here. I got to figure out how to count the uh, solar panels. I think on the far side there's a top that I can go through and just count them if they're there. I won't know if they're damaged until I actually open them up and pull them out. And I really don't want to overhandle these parts because there's so many different parts and because there's so many different pieces. What I want to do is I want to put them into sections kind of subsystems. Here's the racking system, here's the electrical, here's the micro inverters, here's the, the interconnections for them. And, and just kind of take a picture and go over a brief overview of the parts. And just to give you an idea of the scope of the kit that, uh, that my vendor has sent me. Uh, and I'll put the name and everything down in the description. I just don't feel comfortable coming out and saying it during the video. Anyway, let me do some correspondence back to the vendor and let them know everything arrived and they're not short any parts. I'll be back in a minute or two, which, you know, is no time for you. And I'll have this broken into subsections and uh, then we'll I go through and do a top level identification of the parts, okay? I'll be right back. I got a new microphone and I'm trying to figure the whole thing out. Um, as you notice <laughs> in the previous little segments, I've been a little breathy. So I'm gonna try to, I move the microphone from here to here. We'll see if it makes a difference. I gotta get my coffee here so I can actually talk. Um, oh, gorgeous sunset out there. I mean, that's purdy. That is purdy. Um, you know why sunsets are orange and blue? Just to let you know. It's because God's a Broncos fan. I just thought I'd throw that out there. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there would appreciate that I just said that. Anyway, what I've done, is I've broken things down into kind of their, their basic sections. And I just wanna give you a top level overview now. I thought about it and I was gonna really get into the details of it, but one, it'd bore the crap out of you. And two, it's really not fair to my vendor. My vendor spent a lot of time and effort and money to put this kit together. It's their whole business model is, hey, we send you the whole kit. Minus a few things, which at the end of the video, I'll go over. So um, I didn't think that was fair, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the different sections here. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna show you how I organize my documentation for a project of this scope, okay? Um, so let me start showing you the subsections. And here's the kit. Um, and I'll go through basically how I've got it all broken down here. And just, um, again, this is just gonna be top level. Here are the panels. The panels, there's 28 of them, uh, 335 watts. I think I'd have to relook that up. We had to make some changes toward the end um, to satisfy the county. But uh, 
There's the panels. They're going to be talking to uh, DS3 dash S, I think. Um, micro inverters. Yep. Uh, DS3 dash S micro inverters. And there's the little communications. Um, uh, a router type thing that or com port or something that the app talks to well it talks to the Wi-Fi the app talks to the Wi-Fi and I can tell from anywhere in the world how my solar panel is doing and here are the trunk cables there's 22 trunk cables not super familiar with these or how they're uh, wired in but I will be by the time I get all this stuff done From the basic electrical stuff, this is the basic electrical stuff that they provided. There's a number of junction boxes and disconnects. There's some liquid tight cabling and all the short wire. Um, I'll get into which wires they don't provide um, at the end of the video. Here is the snap and rack racking system. It starts off with a whole bunch of the rails and here are all the connectors that they provide including a little junction box here but there's a whole bunch of them and the bill of materials uh, calls all this stuff out so um, and I went through it and it's all there here is just miscellaneous stuff this is stuff that once you get working you wish you had and hope like heck that you could get it locally at eight o'clock at night because that's when you need it but they provide it in the kit now this is something that I think is pretty cool they provide you with the decals and uh, I think that's pretty cool the um, there's a number of decals that are required and I'd hate to have to try to figure out which ones are required and where they went and that's that's it that's pretty much the kit um, It doesn't look like much, but there's a lot here. Now, um, let me show you how, I, how I've set up the documentation. What I did is I just put together a whole book. This is my binder. And as I've gone along, I've just put stuff in here. All my uh, dealing with the state, dealing with the power company, dealing with the county, dealing with the primary vendor. Here is my permit. It's all stacked up in here, so when they come to do inspections, I just pull the book out. And this is, and there's going to be some stuff in here I'm going to fuzz out. Again, my vendor put a lot of time and effort into this, and I don't think it's fair that I just give away too much information. But there's the basic site plan. Um, again, basic stuff. You'd think I'd have a coffee sponsor by now, but I don't. Anyway, we've gone over on broad terms what's in the kit. Okay, now I want to go over what's um, what's not in the kit, and some of this stuff is going to be well, it's going to be self-explanatory, um, and I don't mean this in a well. They didn't provide this, and they're cheapskates. It makes sense why they didn't provide it, okay? Uh, I'm sure if they would have provided it, they'd have made a few dollars on it, so it would have been in their interest to provide this stuff, but the shipping and everything else would have just been ridiculous. So here we go. Now this is my purchase agreement, and it states right in there what they don't provide. I just wanted to go over that with you so um, uh, somebody doesn't come at me. And we'll leave it at that. Uh, equipment not included. The following equipment is, uh, is the following is not included in the kit to be delivered to the owner, but may be required for system installation and function. Main service panel and dedicated um, PV breaker. I, it's, it's already on your house. They don't need to supply that. Schedule 40 galvanized steel pipe. Uh, I'll get into that in a minute. Trench equipment. Now what they mean by the trench equipment, depending on how far away your array is from your equipment, 
your house um, will determine, that's trench equipment, your two inch conduit, all the wiring going in there, that's not in there. Uh, cement, go figure, they didn't want to ship out cement when I tell you how much is involved to get to 120 mile an hour, um, it, it's, it's four pallets. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, conduit connections, just the little stuff around the main panel. I mean, you saw how much, they, they provided a bunch of that stuff. Ground walk rods, not a problem. Um, I'll, I've already got that covered. Ballast, cinder blocks. Uh, I don't know why you would need that. I don't know, anyway. Uh, and PV production meter. The PV production meter, I have to provide the housing and um, the, the power company will come out and put their one that they could monitor and you know keep an eye on me through their meter. So anyway, that's not included. What does that mean? I'm gonna give you ballpark numbers here, okay? I'm not gonna get into specifics, and there's a reason for that. I'm not gonna get into tax credits. There's too many variables, depending on uh, what year you do it, the state you're in, the county you're in, the tax bracket you're in. I'm not gonna get into that, okay? This is out of pocket stuff. And I, again, what you pay for something in Texas is different than what you pay for it in Massachusetts. So again, I'm just gonna give you ballpark numbers. What's not included? Are, actually, let me, let me go over um, just the top level stuff. Um, the county review and approval process is about $250. I'm sorry. Let me back up, I've already made a mistake. The power company review and approval process was $250. The county permitting process was $500. There was an initial payment for um, the engineering. All that engineering and all that documentation, 750 bucks. Uh, then the kit itself was broken into two payments. Um, the payments were $9,650 each. And I'll, I'll give you totals at the end so you don't, have to, you don't have to do the math on this. Now there's a couple variables in here that my county's requiring um, that I guarantee you most people don't have to deal with. My county is requiring that a certified dirt engineer, he's a geotechnical guy, come out and certify my dirt. And then before they'll send an inspector out, he has to come out and inspect my work and then provide a certification that I have done it to code. Don't know why the inspector even has to come out. We should just be able to mail that in. Don't get me started, okay? Now, electrical engineer. I have to do the same exact thing. Well, in this case, it's an electrician. I have to do the same exact thing uh, with an electrician. I do the work, he comes out, inspects it, provides certification that it's done correct, then the county comes out and inspects his certified version of my work. Okay, so I don't even know what those cost. Um, that's probably about a grand each by the time I'm done with it. Um, concrete, now this is where you get into the size of your array, these are the variables. We got 28 panels, okay? We're going up four by seven, ground mount, and we have 120 mile an hour sustain, or I think it's a three second, or it, it's 120 mile an hour. I don't know how long it lasts for. That is 221 60 pound bags of concrete. A pallet has 56. I gotta buy four pallets of concrete. Good news is you get to see the mud mixer working again, and that's why I bought the mud mixer was for this project, because I gotta run 221 bags of concrete through it. So that's $1,000, that's like 950 bucks. Concrete forms, now this one blew me away. You know those sono tubes? Uh, and again, this is the 120 mile an hour. So if you're in an area where it's 90, it's the number's gonna be completely different for you. For me, I have to use an 18 inch sauna tube. You know who sells an 18 inch sauna tube? Nobody. So it's $800 
for cardboard tubes. So why don't you just do it without cardboard tubes? You don't need cardboard tubes because the dirt out here is layered sand and clay. And if I, I and again, that 120 mile an hour, I gotta go five feet deep. That's three feet below the frost line um, to meet code. So a five foot hole, I, let's say I don't use sauna tubes. Well, first of all, it has to be sticking out six inches. So I need something there. Um, but let's say I don't put sauna tubes in, I just make my own form. I, I go out, I drill the holes and it rains. I gotta redrill the holes. Okay, the wind comes up, I gotta redrill the holes. You put a sauna tube in, you put a trash bag over the top of it, you wait for the county to get around to, to doing their job and, and you're good to go. Enough of that. Um, okay, now, snap and rack. This is the one that caught me by surprise. It didn't catch me by surprise. I knew it. It was actually a good surprise because I thought it was two inch galvanized schedule 40. I had priced that in. That's eight bucks a foot, okay, to have dual threaded, because nobody carries it. Again, who, who uses galvanized pipe anymore? It's all plastic, which is a good thing. It doesn't rust. Uh, that was $1,700. Um, now we get into the trenching stuff, and that is um, the conduit, two inch conduit, uh, $300 okay because it's about a hundred foot run if you're a race closer that price is going to be lower number six twhn-2 this is the conductors that go back and forth i'm going to need about 500 feet that's 425 dollars ground rods ground lugs there's another hundred bucks so my my twenty thousand dollar system that that's what it was quoted to me for it actually started at 18 but then I added some more panels and anyway, it's $25,000, okay? So you're saying, wow, that's like a 20% increase, 20, 25%, you do the math. But depending on where you are, that could be lower, okay? And maybe the variable is 25%, but your system's smaller, you don't have the county issues, you don't have the 120 mile an hour, and you don't have frost lines the whole thing price will come down for you so this is kind of the top of the pricing uh, but anyway it's it, don't take my word for it do your own math on it anyway that's it uh, we've gone through the kit uh, I've showed you what's in it top level I've showed you how I organize the documentation um, I've showed you uh, and given you rough estimates on what it cost for the all the stuff that's not in the kit if you have any questions and comments put them down below I tried to I tried to put enough caveats in this that it was just uh, hey my systems my system and your system is gonna be your system but um, um, Anyway, there's the information. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments and uh, I'll try to get back to you. Um, is the project going perfectly? 14 months to get it here, so no, but we are making progress. Thanks for watching.